Today we celebrate the greatest event that took place upon the earth, the Christian feast of Easter. Happy Easter to you all. Christ is risen, truly risen. After 40 days of preparation, renewed in the spirit, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the death. The resurrection of Jesus Christ to a new life, to a glorified life. Father Eustace Siame asked me to record an Easter message for the youths. He uh, very gently encouraged me, and uh, here I am, recording a spiritual talk for the first time in my life. Father Siame, the Salesian of Don Bosco, may God bless you in your studies and in your wonderful uh, internet ministry. I would like to deliver this Easter message in the form of uh, the wishes, and there are four. May the risen Christ renew in us the eagerness to do God's will. May the risen Christ change our mentality. May the risen Christ bless us with faith. And may the risen Christ give us hope. Definitely, I'm not here to convince uh, you about the resurrection, about Jesus' uh, salvific act. It's important. That means his death on the cross, his resurrection, and his glorious ascension into heaven. We are believers. I believe I'm addressing the believers, and all we, we share the same faith that Jesus is risen. God's will. Um, I'm going to first use this beautiful book, uh, the Bible. Uh, something that God has left for all humanity. Uh, I'll take first the chapter um, four from God's, uh, from John's Gospel, uh, verse uh, 34, and I read, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. Jesus came to accomplish the work of his Father. And Jesus says, all I do is the will of my Father. I have come to do the will of my Father. In Jerusalem, at Gethsemane, in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus says, Father, let this cup pass from me, but let your will be done. Every day we pray the prayer, our Father, and we repeat let your will be done. In Matthew chapter 7, uh, verse 21, uh, we read, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father. And so doing the will of the Father uh, was the most important for Jesus. Uh, Jesus prayed in secret. So pray often also you, and that's the will of the Father. Read the Bible. Read, the, know the verses from the Holy Bible. Read the Christian books. Jesus was educated in the, in the law of the Father. Do good to others as Jesus was doing. Don't compare yourself to the others. Ah, because they, they did in this way or that way. No. Compare yourself, compare yourself instead uh, with Jesus. To be like Jesus, let this be your motto in life. Mm, to be like Jesus, actually, it's very dangerous. It calls for a total change. It requires you to put an end to the old kind of life, old type of life. It's, it is calling um, uh, a death sentence upon your previous life. We need, to, we need you to change the life, the old life, the life of sin, and to begin the new life, life in Jesus Christ. Unless the grain falls to the ground and dies, it will never bear fruits. Hence, surrender to God's will. There's a beautiful song, all to Jesus I surrender. Let us listen this 
song often let it become our prayer and all to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust is a little thing. Prayer follows the surrendering to God's will. Jesus was tempted in the desert and did not surrender to the will of the Satan, but chose to go hungry because Jesus was full faithful to God's will. I can imagine the fourth uh, station of the cross whereby Jesus meets his mother and uh, I imagine uh, Mary uh, at that moment meeting Jesus and being uh, sorry. And Jesus probably would say, Mom, I'm sorry. Uh, you shouldn't see me in, in such a condition. And Mary would say, Son, remember, you're doing the will of the Father. Do your fear. Do your amen. Do the amen you have given to the Father. From now on, our answer to the question, why did you do this? Why did you say that? We should answer, it is because I believed it to be God's will. Somebody may say to us, uh, but look, um, there is a great opportunity. You have an uh, opportunity that opens for you. We should say, no, I have no opportunity except the doing of God's will. I'm not interested in, in an opportunity, but in doing God's will. I don't know where the opportunity may lead me, but God's will will lead me to heaven. Let us do the will of God. John chapter 5 verse 3 says, For the love of God, it is that we keep his commandments. We keep the commandments of the Lord for, because we love God. And in Mark chapter 3, again, we read, Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Doing the will of God it means it, it is as if we belong to, to the family. It is to belong to the family of God. What is the will of God? It is fulfilling. It is living his commandments. Hence the homework. Let us learn by heart the Old Testament's Ten Commandments and the New Testament's uh, Commandment of Love and recite them every evening just before you go to bed. Jesus